Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given the function r, and we're asked to find the value of the derivative of r when x is equal to zero. Now, the recommended method for solving this problem is setting the numerator equal to f of x, and the denominator to g of x, and then simplifying r of x to f of x over g of x. Therefore, the derivative of r is going to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. At x is equal to 0, this is going to be g of 0 times f prime of 0 minus f of 0 times g prime of 0 over g of 0 squared. Before we can continue with this, we actually have to find what f of 0 is, what g of 0 is, and so on. So over here, we can say f of 0 is equal to 0 minus 3 times 0 cubed plus 5 times 0 to the fifth. And this is just by taking this and plugging in 0 for x. This gives us 0 minus 3 times 0 is 0, plus 5 times 0 is 0. So this is all just 0. g of 0 is 1, again doing the same thing, plugging in 0 for x, plus 6 times 0 to the 6th, plus 9 times 0 to the 9th, which is 1, plus, and then again, similar thing up here, we have plus 0, plus 0, plus 0. So this is just equal to 1. The derivative of f is taking the derivative of these three terms. The derivative of x is 1, since the it's a linear term, so its derivative is just its coefficient. Minus 3 times the derivative of x cubed would be 3, bringing down the exponent, x, and then lowering your exponent by 1 squared, plus 5 times 5, bringing down your exponent, lowering it by 1 for your new exponent. So this is 1 minus 3 times 3 is 9x squared plus 25x to the fourth. And at x is equal to 0, this is 1 minus 9 times 0 squared plus 25 times 0 to the fourth, which is again 1 minus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 1. Continuing on, the last thing we need to find is the derivative of g which is going to be the derivative of 1 is 0 since it's a constant, so you have 0 plus everything else, so we can just ignore that 0, plus 3, derivative of x cubed, bring down your 3, lower your exponent by 1, plus 6, bring down the exponent, lower your exponent by 1, plus 9, bring down your exponent, lower your exponent by 1. And this is, for x is equal to 0, we have 3 times 3 is 9 times 0 squared, plus 6 times 6 is 36 times 0 to the 5th, plus 9 times 9 is 81 times 0 to the 8th. And this is 0 plus 0 plus 0, which we're multiplying by 0, they all cancel out. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. So, calculating this, sort of have to go around here, but... If g of 0 is 1 times the derivative of f at 0 is 1 minus f of 0 is 0, g prime of 0 is 0, over g of 0 is 1 squared. So you have 1 times 1 is 1, minus 0 times 0 is 0, over 1 squared is 1, so this is 1 over 1, which is 1, and this is equal to r prime of 0. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.